Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to join me on a tour of 6 Montgomery Street Fielding. Montgomery Street is a quiet cul-de-sac uh, in central fielding with an easy walking distance of the town centre. You'll see a walkway through to Denby Street and a uh, very easy little stroll down into the town centre. At the end of the cul-de-sac is fielding kindergarten and you can see very well presented houses all built probably in the 1960s thereabouts. A, uh, a very attractive and popular street. The property itself uh, endowed with a beautiful garden and about 750 square metres of section and uh, join with me as we enter the property. Concrete driveway leading to a, a carport, pergola and a walkway through to a very generous sized um, back porch. As we swing around to the right you'll see a large terrace concrete terrace with huge double French doors opening out from the main living area. Now this could easily be made more private with a bit of trellis, screening uh, and maybe even extended around uh, to the west side of the property. The terrace itself is really on the north side of the property. So we're going to enter in through the uh, French doors and into a very generous sized lounge particularly for the age of this property built in the early 60s. Um, what you see is, is a largely original dwelling, very solidly built, a lot of Rimu timber, a lot of uh, natural Rimu trim. You'll see a brick fireplace and in behind the screen is a, uh, is a wood burner. So a very efficient form of heating and you can see that we have a large expanse of living and joining up with open plan dining. All opening out onto the terrace north and west facing, so extremely good for the sun. Dining links up with the kitchen, uh, but is a separate space. Kitchen, as I mentioned, is largely original, stainless steel sink bench and formica uh, bench tops, but in very good condition. Electric stove, hot water cupboard, the older timber style cupboards, but plenty of room, and uh, fantastic as is, but with potential to improve. We link up with the back porch that you saw earlier. Great place to come in out of, out of the rain, into the laundry, where there's room there for, for a tub, and uh, we have some good cupboards. We have alternate access, so straight from the back door through the laundry to the toilet and the bathroom. The bathroom features bath with shower over and the hand basin with sort of built-in vanity unit. Quite typical of the era and in very good order. Just linking back through to the lounge again and from the lounge the alternate access down to the bedrooms and bathrooms is through the hallway. First on our right we have the first of three bedrooms. This is a, uh, a double room or twin room with a single wardrobe, linen cupboard, and then through to bedroom number one. Bedroom number one, definitely the largest, a good sized double room, currently with twin beds, and uh, you'll see nice and light, and an excellent double wardrobe with Rimu doors. Through we come to the third bedroom, a smaller room, possibly fit two beds, certainly one easily, and again this room has its own wardrobe. So uh, a good spacious uh, design lounge much bigger than was typical of this style of property from the 1960s and also with a great flow from indoors to outdoors through onto the terrace which again was not typical of this era so a few real advantages. Outside we go, we've mentioned the carport and straight in front of us at the back of the carport is a really useful garden shed. Nice garden, orchid house and wood shed or extra garden shed. We have the traditional rotary clothes line and then out the back we go to a large <coughs> lawn area. Ideal for backyard crickets. We can see some future black caps being trained here. Norfolk pine, 
beautiful big tree the house in good condition it would respond well to some extra some new paint but um, basically it's been extremely well maintained lovely agapanthers a most appealing section and a great place for children to play plenty of room down the side and uh, we, we link up back down the side of the bedroom and the lounge wing further possibilities for outdoor living and that pretty much concludes the tour of 6 Montgomery Street Fielding please phone me if you'd like some additional information my name is Michael Ford thank you